Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add CSS to your HTML tables in Power Automate. If you enjoy Power Automate, Power Apps, SharePoint, and Teams videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. So you want to add CSS to your HTML tables because the HTML table looks pretty bare. It's not visually appealing. So I will be working with my event calendar. It's a SharePoint list and my marketing SharePoint. And I already created a Power Automate flow that sends an email of all the events in the next seven days. Let's go into Microsoft Power Automate and I will show you the flow. So we have a reoccurrence flow that runs weekly. Uh, it grabs the events for the next seven days with a filter query. I select the columns I want from the get items. And then from the select statement, I will actually grab the columns I want and create an HTML table. And then it sends an email to my email. So I will show you what the HTML table looks like right now. It's pretty, um, pretty bare. There's not really too much there, but it does get the data values across. We'll test, I'll run it. All right, for the HTML table, this is the automate email. As you can see, it grabs the events for the next seven days, but uh, the table isn't really look too well. So let's go back into Power Automate, edit, and anywhere after your create HTML table, you wanna go to add an action, and this will be a compose statement. So this is where you would insert your CSS, and I'm actually gonna use CSS from John Sardine. It's from his website. I'll link in the description below and you can copy the CSS from there. And this is what it looks like. So you have a bunch of CSS and basically I just need to add the style brackets to this. So this will be style. Close those brackets and then you want to copy the CSS code right underneath. And this is a bunch of code. It could be really short or really long. And then you want to close the uh, style. And then underneath, you want to add your create HTML table output. So that output will actually look at the CSS code and make the changes. So we will press save and we actually have to edit the email. So this is still looking at the each HTML table output. We want it to look at the compose output. So we'll change that output and press save. We'll go to test, run flow. All right, so it should go to my email. This is what the HTML table looks like without the CSS code. And this is what the HTML table looks with the CSS code. As you can see, it looks a lot better. There's not really too much to say. If you want to imagine sending users lists and then you send them this, it's like, whoa, this is great. But I highly recommend. And uh, again, the code will be at the website in the description below. You go ahead and copy it. All you have to do is add the style brackets and the closing brackets at the end and the output for your HTML underneath it. So that will be the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you get really good with CSS, you can do a lot of different styles for your tables. But I won't explain that because uh, it'll be a very long video and I'm not really too good at CSS. But there's a lot of information online about it. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.